Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to Ingelane, a helping hand for grammar and high school lessons. In the last session we discussed the parts of speech. Today we discuss the sentence which is also one of the important basis for grammar. Listen or read the conversation between Meha and Neha. One day, when Neha was going to school, she met her neighbor Meha and see what they talked. Meha, hi Neha, good morning. Neha, hi, good morning. Where are you going now? Meha, I am going to school. To school? Do you have a special class today? I have no any class, but I want to be a part of a social work program by NSS volunteers. Social work? Do all the volunteers participate in it? Meha, no, only selected ones. All were not trained for it. Nice, then you were selected and trained. How lucky you are. Thank God, I am very happy to help the poor. Right, when do you have to reach school? At 9 o'clock. Shall I leave? Yeah. Please reach there in time. Don't be late. Okay, see you. Bye. Now, dears, listen to these groups of words. Let us analyze some of them. Where are you going now? I am going to school. Do you have a special class today? I have no any class. Please reach there in time. Don't be late. How lucky you are? All these group of words make complete sense. So, they are sentences. What's a sentence then? A sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. A sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. But are all the above sentences of same types? No. How can we check it? We have to consider these things. What sense do they make? How do they begin? What do they end with? Let us analyze some sentences. I am going to school. I am very happy to help the poor. I have no any class. All were not trained for it. See, all these make statements. And all these sentences begin with a noun phrase. That is, I. I, I and all, which is its uh, their subjects, followed by a verb phrase, which is a predicate. I am going to school. I am very happy to help the poor. Have no any class. Were not trained for it. And all of them end with the full stop. See here, here, here. Full stop is the. Such sentences are called assertive or declarative. A sentence that makes a statement is called an assertive or declarative sentence. We can see some more examples. Anu got the first prize. Anu is the subject. Got the first prize is the predicate. Kerala is a state. Kerala is the subject. Is a state is the predicate. They are not students. They, subject, are not students. Predicate. He seldom comes late. He, subject, seldom comes late. That is predicate. Now come the, the sentences in A and B. A. I am going to school. Second. I am very happy to help the poor. B. I have no any class. Then second sentence, all were not trained for it. See, I am going to school. I am very happy to help the poor. All, 
these state positive facts but here the sentence is express negative ideas there are negative words in them here is no and here you can see not again these sentences state positive facts they say something is done or something is there but here it says something is not done or something is not there so assertives can be classified into two first affirmative or positive sentences second negative sentences see what's an affirmative sentence sentences which state positive facts are called affirmative or positive sentences the sentences in group 1 that is a are positive sentences we can see some more examples anu got the first prize second kalaisa state then what is negative sentence or what is a negative sentence or what are negative sentences the sentences that express negative ideas are called negative sentences the sentences in box b are negative sentences we can see some more examples they are not students he seldom comes late now let us check another set of sentences where are you going now when do you have to reach school do you have a special class today do all the volunteers participate in it shall i leave see all these are questions and they begin with either a question word or an auxiliary this begin with the word this begins with when this begins with do and this begins with shall these are question words and these are auxiliaries you know that and they end with a question mark such sentences are called interrogative what's an interrogative sentence a sentence that asks questions is called interrogative sentence sentences that ask questions are called interrogative sentences some more examples who got the first prize which is our stage are they students does he come late now you compare the sentences in a and b in a where are you going now when do you have to reach school in b do all the volunteers participate in it do you have a special class today listen and be careful listen very much carefully observe carefully were and when these are the beginning sentences beginning words in these sentences and to the question where are you going now you can have many answers for this one too when do you have to reach school there can be many answers but listen here do begins with do it too begins with do and for the question do all the volunteers participate in it it has only two answers either yes or no this two again the sentence in a box they begin with a question word and can have many answers in b they begin with an auxiliary and the answer is either yes or no now interrogatives can be classified into two question word question or wh question a yes or no question what's a question word question a question that begins with a question word is called a question word question a question word question or a wh question more examples the examples given in box a are question word questions more examples what's your name where are you from then what is a yes or no question a question which begins with an auxiliary is called a yes or no question the questions 
in b box were yes or no questions some more examples can you swim are you busy now okay now see the next set of sentences please reach there in time don't be late please give me the book come here the these sentences express command order or request and they begin with the verb that is v1 root form of the verb the main part here reach here don't or be here give here come and they end with the full stop what do we call this type of questions this type of sentences they are called imperatives what's an imperative a sentence that expresses command order or request is called imperatives let us see some more examples open the door don't tell lies please take your books please go out now let us see the last set of questions how of sentences how lucky you are what a strange story it is what a bright morning it is how intelligent he is they express emotions and the feelings and they begin with a question word but there are no question marks at the end they end with an exclamation mark this type of sentences are called exclamatory what's an exclamatory sentence a sentence that expresses strong emotion and feeling is called exclamatory some more examples what a good idea how clever you are how hot the air is what a faithful animal a dog is in brief we can say sentence has four basic subdivisions or we can classify sentence basically into four first assertive second interrogative third imperative and last fourth exclamatory then again sentence can be classified into assertive interrogative imperative and exclamatory assertives can be classified again to affirmative and negative interrogative can be again classified into a sono question and wh questions imperative can be classified into command and request then exclamatory has no any classification this is all about sentences hope you have learned all the types of sentences and everything thank you for watching meet you again till then goodbye